On a previous show at CBIT 2010 at the Enamax stand, we looked at PSUs and chassis. Now we've moved over to the fan section. Till, how can fans be interesting? Well, fans, fans can be such interesting like you see here, from enlightened fans, from uh, very nice looking white fans, to quite simple but very good price valued uh, case fans. And of course everybody wants to keep his components in the case very cool. And this with a silent fan. So again, a fan is a fan. I've seen fans for two pounds, two euros, eight centimeters, 12 centimeters. Some new fans here, 12, 15 euros. How do you justify that extra expense and what technology do you implement to make it worthwhile? Okay, so let's go over to the fans here. Okay. So for example, I take the magma fan and show the main technology of the fan. We uh, have our own bearing. This is named Twister bearing. We use it in all our fit series currently. You can detach the blades for easy cleaning with air or on underwater. This bearing is made of nanomaterial. This is self-lubricating. It does not dry out. So that means the fan stays very, very silent. Not over half a year, but over one, two or three years. So this is a very big success in uh, yeah, fan technology. Okay, a few questions. What sizes can you get these in? How much and what kind of decibel level are you reporting? Okay, that is uh, a bit uh, difficult because we have so many series. We are starting with the entry level fan with constant speed, a very good price value level, and this will be around, uh, well, for the thread 12 centimeter fan, around uh, $10. But we provide it from 8 to 14 centimeters. All other fans mainly start at uh, 8 centimeter, we provide a 9 centimeter and a 12 centimeter. And now with a new Apolish Vegas manual series, we also start to provide 14 centimeter, which is needed in new modern cases. Right. And the 14 uh, centimeter will be around, depending on model. Uh, for example, this with a new light effect, with the switching light effects, more expensive, something around $20. And this one, with uh, no light, but a very good price value level, uh, just uh, around 14 or 15 dollars. Clearly by putting so much focus on fans, Enemax sees the fan market as being fairly important and large. So in the future, next six months a year, are we likely to see more and more efforts? Well, I think so, yes, because we are now focusing more and more on the face, uh, on the fan category. We produce the fans on our own. We have our own manufacturers. So besides the PSU, we are also now manufacturer of the fans. And so we can bring in new technology and very good cooling standard with a very silent operation. That's fans. Enemax also does peripherals. And we've right. seen more and more of those again in recent years. So if we move on over the stand, okay. let's have a look at what's new. Yeah, let's go. OK, Tilt. Enemax and keyboards, please explain. How does that work? Well, a very, very long time now we have been doing keyboards. We started with the premium aluminium keyboard and this one was very, very famous because we lay a very big focus on design and functionality. So this is a very, very special category and of course target group. So we are also successful in uh, making peripherals and as you can see here, for example, we use aluminium and very, very good materials. So with aluminium and custom what, laser cut designs, right. they can't be inexpensive. What kind of price, e-tail price, would our readers and viewers be expected to pay for one of these? Well, this one is currently not launched in UK. Okay. But Why not? Yeah, we are thinking about it because this is quite new product and this hits a very special target group. It's a really HTPC living room PC keyboard with full functionality. You have laser trackball, you have full functionality of mouse, you have media center keys, and now we will also launch this in UK. And, yeah, you see the aluminium design fits very good in the living room, and the pricing will be around, uh, I think, 65 to $70, MSRP inclusive VAT. And this is part of the Aurora range, I take it? So that's right, this is Aurora Micro, for example, wireless version, so you can uh, use it with your living room, your HTPC, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, have the fun full functionality on your table. Right. Moving on from keyboards, Enemax does cooling pads 
and also peripherals in terms of storage. Yep. Let's have a quick look at those. Okay, let's go around. So, as you know, the notebook sector, sub notebooks, notebooks uh, are sold very, very good during the last year and nearly two years ago it started with a hype. So we started also to provide a cooling pad for notebooks with a very big fan, 25 centimeter fan, which cools your notebook down. And as you can see, this is also made of aluminium, so we focus on design, good quality and good cooling performance. We also now will provide a cooling pad for smaller, for smaller notebooks and sub notebooks like the EPC, and you can uh, really, really good use it also at home at so-called semi docking station. Uh, use it on the desk and cool your uh, EPC or your sub notebook. How much would that be? Something like this, something fairly basic, bearing in mind that netbooks tend to be about 200 pounds. That's right, that's right. Uh, for the smaller one, now you can see we use a different material, so we will, will go down with the pricing. Aluminium material, of course, normally is also, due to the material itself, a bit more expensive. Okay. So can you name a price for us? Well, for these uh, pieces, these are uh, samples. We currently have not set up a price, but I can tell you uh, it will be, of course, way below the uh, bigger cooling pad uh, made of aluminium. Right. And lastly, moving on to peripherals over here, okay. external storage is fairly important for most people. Yeah. Everyone seems to have a 2.5 or 3.5 inch drive. So what's Enamax doing in that field? Yes, of course, uh, you're right. Uh, especially the focus on 2.5 um, HDDs with uh, SATA connector is getting more and more uh, stronger on the market. Mm -hmm. And so we also provide um, yeah, uh, cases or enclosures for HDDs. Our well-known series is a Jazz series, and uh, this Jazz series is also very, very um, famous in UK. We are also focusing on design and, for example, with the Jazz 2 on a very good cooling performance with mesh design, so the HDD is not getting too warm inside the case. Right. And how much can somebody expect to pay for this? I know I keep asking this question, but it's important for our viewers. That's right. So, for example, this brick one is sold in the UK mm -hmm. and quite successfully. And uh, this will be around, uh, let, let me think about it, around, I think, 10 or $15. Right. Okay, Till, thank you very much for your time. That's coolers, enclosures and fans at Enamax. Interested? Well, we're going to see more reviews on Hexus.net of those products. But in the meantime, head back for more from CBIT 2010.